It's raining here on beautiful Lake Parsippany, New Jersey. You can see the raindrops on the water. And just over there, you can see that there's a blue heron. See that? That's a blue heron waiting out the rain with me. I'm going to talk with you about joy conversion. The power that we all have to take what is possibly good or possibly bad and convert it to the good. And in order to do that, I'm going to talk to you about some different perspectives that come out of spirituality as well as positive reframing from cognitive science. So let's start with the spiritual end. My favorite prayer in the whole world is the prayer ascribed to St. Francis of Assisi. It's called the Peace Prayer. And I'm going to say it for you now so that you can hear it. And whether or not you're a religious person, I think what you'll grasp from it is the power of the conversion, of the conversion to the good, and specifically from the conversion from an inside focus to an outside focus. So here it is. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, let me sow pardon. Where there is doubt, let me sow faith. Where there is despair, let me sow hope. Where there is darkness, let me sow light. And where there is sadness, let me sow joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying to self that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Did you notice what happened there? That prayer was full of paradoxes. It was full of saying, let me not be so concerned with myself, but instead turn that concern for myself into concern for others. It's a very powerful prayer, very meaningful to me. In cognitive science, there's something called the reframe. That's taking information that may have been seen previously as negative and turning it into something positive. Or at least reducing the negative impact and making it more neutral. But I like to go all the way to positive, no matter what the situation is. I heard a story about a young man who was getting divorced and his teacher noticed that there was something wrong with him in the classroom. And so uh, he called him out of class. Uh, this was a graduate student and said, what's wrong with you? He said, oh, my wife has just told me that we're getting divorced. And uh, the teacher told him to sit in his office. The professor said, sit in my office and you can't come out until you can think of one positive thing about this divorce. And the young man sat in the room for 15 minutes until he could think of something really positive, which was that he would be able to uh, go on his internship anywhere he wanted in the country, that he wouldn't have to stay in that one place. I know this story pretty well because it happened to me. And I think that we can always see in life any situation, if we want to maximize our power, we can always see the good. Find the good in anything that happens to you. Find the beauty. Find
find the meaning, find the connection, find the new opportunity. Focus on the other and not the self, and you will find your joy automatically. This is Dr. Shifan from drwhynots.com, wishing you the power of the positive reframe and the external focus. God bless.